Some thoughts have inspired me lately, and I figured I would share with the audience. Um, I've gotten older. I don't know how much wiser. The hair is leaving. Uh, I want to leave some kind of mark on humanity, something that maybe the world can remember, perhaps a thought, an idea. What better way than to discuss the idea of a type 1 civilization? Uh, the original idea comes from Kardashev, a, a Russian scientist, a thinker, and he posited the idea that civilization would eventually evolve to a type 1 civilization where the planet would unify. Being Russian, he probably believed it would be under his version of a, with the Russian version of what a socialist world government would mean. Uh, eventually, at the next stage beyond that, the civilization would harness the energy of a star, i.e. a type 2 civilization, and then you would have a type 3 civilization that would harness the energy of an entire galaxy. Uh, Michio Kaku has posited the idea of a civilization even beyond that, a type 4 civilization possibly harnessing the energy of an entire universe. The idea of a type 1 civilization seems to be what inspires the movers and shakers of the planet, albeit maybe different interpretations of what that would mean. In the case of Kardashev, in the case of the Russians, that would mean a Soviet-style socialist, or the Soviet interpretation of a, so of a socialist world order. Here in the West, it's definitely a capitalist, or you could say a multinational corporate idea of what would be a world order. And yet there seems to be a consensus among the elites, East and West, uh, of the necessity in their minds of a type 1 civilization. In fact, it is believed that we will not become a space-faring civilization until this type 1 civilization has emerged. It seems to go without saying among the particular milieu of which I'm speaking, that a type 1 civilization would require a world government of some kind. And it is this that I want to comment on. This idea of a world government, um, in the Western form of it, would be tied with world banking, with world multinationals. The Western form of it seems to have triumphed. Um, those who say, well, Putin is... Uh, re-emerging, I would argue that what you're seeing really is more of a form of neo-Tsarism or authoritarian Russian nationalism. Perhaps that's what the Soviet Union had been for some time. Uh, again, complicated conversation, Not neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is, here in the West, we have the multinational corporate idea of a world system. And this seems to be a consensus, not just among corporate leaders, not just, not just among political leaders, but among certain scientists. Uh, Professor Michio Kaku has made mention of the idea of a Kardashev type 1 civilization being a world government. I would like to say that this would be a very poor model of a type 1 civilization. I share with them the belief that we need to evolve to a type 1 civilization if we are going to become a space-faring civilization, but at the very same time to preserve our planet ecologically. We can become a space-faring civilization and destroy the planet, in which case space-faring would be the elites escaping the planet and... Um, you know, that would be the very negative model of what a space-faring civilization would be. I'm positing that, it, that I agree with them, that if we want a, a benevolent idea, model of a space-faring civilization that is also ecological and has the best of both worlds, we would indeed need to be a Type 1 civilization. Otherwise, we would either be the elite model of uh, a breakaway civilization, leaving the rest of us behind, or we would ha have to go back to the hunter-gatherer top period as imagined by the primitivists. Neither of these are very sustainable in my view. And yet, would a type 1 civilization be a centralized civilization with control from Wall Street, or control from Geneva, or control from uh, the, the WTO, or control from the UN? Would this be uh, the way of a sustainable type 1 civilization? And I would say no, it would not be. 
Such a civilization would be inherently more authoritarian than what we currently experience in the West. It might be more democratic than what is experienced in North Korea, but it would be less so than what we experience in the West. And the more authoritarian a particular civilization would be, the more it is prone to war, the more it is prone to factionalism, the more it is prone to civil wars, um, this general fighting that general, and then eventually breaking apart into its component units again. Uh, the West, the Russian sphere, or Eurasian sphere, the Asian sphere, and we would not have a type one civilization. It would not sustain itself. Um, it would be inherently unstable. And yet, I would say that the current state system is essentially a transitionary situation. It, it, the nation states birth elites, and elites tend to want to interlock with other elites. And so the current nation state system or model will become some type of a type one civilization just by the inherent evolution of things. Uh, they will do so in secret, in the various meetings in Geneva and in uh, WTO meetings and in um, the Mount Pollerin Society and, and uh, the Council for National Policy and the Trilateral Commission and all the rest of it. And yet, um, it will not be the kind of representative or democratic type one civilization that would be sustainable. Allow me to posit another model for a type one civilization entirely, and that would be the model proposed by Charles Fourier, the model proposed by Martin Buber in the Pathways of uh, Pathways in Utopia, or Pathways of Utopia, with some title like that, but it had Pathways in Utopia, and you can look it up. It's excellent. Okay, the type proposed by the philosophically inclined anarchists, and I'm referring to anarcho syndicalists, not this newfangled liberty right-wing libertarian thing. Okay. The idea of a federal civilization whereby uh, working people have very direct power, power is local, and um, it builds its way up to ever ar overarching, not hierarchies of power, but interlocking um, unities. In other words, the interlocking unity of your local communal unit, which unlike the anarchists or the socialists, I believe would have some mixture of things. There'd be private ownership as well as worker control. It would have to be a mix. But this interlocking system would begin locally, would move up federally, and you would eventually have the planet of people who have overcome divisions. And not only have they overcome divisions, but they've also overcome the desire for power, or at least the ability to impose power. This type of model proposed by 19th century anarcho-socialists, anarcho not state socialists, but anarcho-socialists, would be far more evolved than either the current nation-state system or the type one civilizations proposed by um, out of London or Wall Street or out of Geneva. That is my opinion. Whether it's sustainable or not, I don't know. My sense is that there would have to be, um, in contrast to the views of Fourier, in contrast to the views of Emma Goldman or those folks, some kind of mixed system. Um, I don't think one particular model of economics could sustain. But that having been said, I do believe that their model is far more advanced than anything proposed by either the capitalist world government folks or the socialist world government folks, in, if in the sense of socialist one means the authoritarian state socialists. I believe that such a civilization could be spacefaring as well as ecological. It could combine the best of both worlds. I believe that such a civilization would transcend what we call civilization in the sense that we would return to some of the good aspects of the hunter-gatherer period, but with advanced technology. We would uh, hunt in the morning, fish in the afternoon, be literary critics at dinner time, and we wouldn't even have to wait for the state to wither away. Because or the state that withers away to wither away, because states don't wither away. They don't do that. This would be the evolution beyond the state itself. I do not know if this is possible, but I know that unlike other forms of type one civilization proposed, this one would actually be desirable. My thought on the matter, CH is true, signing off.